Hi everybody, uh, just uh, here with Steve and Max, uh, a couple of Jiu Jitsu uh, students. Uh, Steve next week will be going for his, uh, his blue belt next week, so Steve how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good, yeah. Um, yeah been doing a bit of prep work for it, uh, the biggest thing I guess is getting the stamina, learning how to pace yourself because we're an hour old, so mm, yeah, plus, plus a bit extra, I think there is. So yeah, so basically, uh, for Steve's got a, and everybody else's comes for the grading as well. So basically, working on their techniques from different positions on the ground, and then uh, Steve's got an, an hour continuous roll. Yep, different people every three or four minutes or something like that. So yeah, so feeling good anyway, ready, ready to go. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, a mental prep as, a, yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't it? Yep. Yep. And just, um, you know, I guess if everyone's different. My thing, I guess, is not worrying about the techniques as such. It's just that, like I said, the stamina and having the confidence to, to, to draw back on those techniques when you're tired, especially because, you know, you, everyone's smashing you up and you're tired. That you can't use strength. You've got to just get back to your basics and just defend, defend, defend. Mm. So that's what we're working on. Yeah. Now, um, Megs is uh, going to compete this weekend at the... Yep. Girls and Gee, Girls and Gee, Gee competition. Yep. Yep. This weekend. Yep. Uh, so uh, your prep, how's that been going? Good, good. So um, been getting along to um, as many classes as I can each week. Yeah. But um, so you've been doing, you're going, you're going fit well, doing some exercise. Yeah. There, and then yep. You've got uh, people helping out with uh, recovery, with massage and stuff like that too. Yeah. Yeah. It's so so cool. um, I try and get in and do at least three classes a week. Um, at FitMob, that's mm. just for strength and conditioning, and then obviously at the end of the day, come here and train in the evening, um, and then do a PT with you um, once a week. And um, I've got the guys at Well Soul Studio looking after me for treatment. So I, I know it's like so. Like like being that, in so. Thailand, I was training every day, and then I was getting a massage every day on my legs. <laughs> just you know, we're, we're not young, you know, and, and yep. for myself, I feel, mm. you feel yourself break down slowly, yep. like. Uh, Steve just smashed me up for a little a long while just then and you know to recover we need to look after yeah, ourselves absolutely yeah. and that's the thing um, obviously when it comes to wrestle time you, you're you wrestling with guys that are um, that can be heavier than you so it mm. can take its toll on, on the body so yeah. it's important to look yeah. after it yeah. so even wrestling against the big guys you, know, you have to have your, your up here a bit stronger yep and have some confidence to keep moving and yeah. keep going with it yeah. it's easy to give up isn't it it is, it is, because sometimes, you know, obviously, um, if they're on mount, um, you can kind of feel a bit stuck. So. Yeah, so mount's when someone's on top of you, sitting on yep. top. Yeah, so it's very, very important to, I know for me personally, it's important to sort of, um, you know, if I feel stuck, sort of have a bit of a breather and, mm. yep, yep and try and move on. Yeah. No, no, no not good. <laughs> <laughs> feels like it sometimes. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so uh, for, for beginners out there, like who want to join in, we've got a five-week beginner class, and, and I know Steve started off with the yep. five beginners class. Yeah, five so it's nearly beginner. two years to the day, pretty much. Oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. And I had no martial arts background whatsoever. I was, you know, footy, cricket, tennis, no family does it. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, two years ago I started that with no idea what I was doing. Mm. I was quite unfit at the time. Um, the hardest thing was walking in the door, but once you get here... It was just the most addictive thing I've ever done. Like, you know, the mental challenge, the physical challenge, the just everything, the confidence it gives you. Um, and yeah, like I was talking about before, like I, I think it teaches the most important thing it's taught me is resilience because you can't give up. Um, there's times you want to, but you just can't because if you do, you're gonna get choked out, you're gonna get armbarred, you're gonna get hurt or something. So it, it teaches you to fight and push on and, you know, just mm. keep going. Which it, And it's not just for here, it's across different aspects of life, yeah. I've noticed. Yeah, mm. for sure. Um, you know, even things like, if you go for a run, a bit times like, oh, I'll just stop. But now I'm like, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just anything yeah. like that. So it's, it's, it's an important lesson, I think, for definitely, everyone. Definitely. Mm. I, I definitely in the honest, the honest martial art club. Because yes. If you lay there, they're going to choke you and arm yep. bar you. And, and then you, if you don't want that, you've got to keep fighting and try and defend yourself the whole yep. time. So yeah, Absolutely. Keep- uh, Mix, anything else for, for the beginners to just um, have a crack? You know what, all I can say is just come in and give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, oh, it's just yeah. so good, good for going? Yeah, no, come in, give it a go, uh, get amongst everyone. Um, yeah. I think I think some people were really surprised on, you, know, you, you don't move your body around a lot. You know, if you're sitting at a table all the time, typing mm-hmm. away, driving a car, 
uh, if you're not twisting and using your body a lot. And as we get older, those muscles tend to seize up a lot. And since I've been doing jiu-jitsu, I used to have a lot of headaches. And I'm rolling a lot, right. strengthen my neck, mm -hmm. and, and less yeah. back problems that I have got from this now. I used to go to the chiropractor a lot more. Not as much, but I still go and see them, mm -hmm. you know, because yep. we need that, you know, realignment every now and then. And, and the last group, group of people who were like that, they're all stiff and then having trouble to learn the basic stuff. But eventually they see the confidence growing because they're starting to get it and yeah. learn. Yeah. And they're going, gee, I'm actually feeling really good with myself nowadays, you know, yep. because of doing this, uh, you know, the, the basics of Jiu-Jitsu and the yep. I've, I've found that my flexibility is a lot, a lot better now. Yeah, for sure. So moving, body? moving heaps better. Yeah, yep. everywhere in your body. Yeah. yeah. No, it's the same. I used to get tension headaches all the time, like chiropractor every two, three weeks, and don't get that anymore. And I actually had a back up, I had a disc removed at 23, and my back's never felt better than it has now. So, so there you go. Yeah. yeah. Nice and I had that back problem since I was about 14. Yeah. yeah. And, and then you just so you get into all and positions. You're in bad positions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, it's amazing you know, what you can achieve, yeah. your body can, you know. Well, it's so good change. for your core, yeah. you know, and all, all those all those ancillary muscles you probably, most people aren't strong in, so, you know, that's, that's just good for everything. Yeah, yeah. And everybody starts at the, be like, everybody starts at the beginning. So, for a beginner to walk through the door, as you said, is the, is the hardest thing to walk in because people feel like coming into a martial art or a boxing gym, oh, am I going to get, the, the questions in your mind sometimes is, oh, am I going to get hit? Am I going to get yeah. hurt? Mm. Yep. They're the questions that people have to overcome. And I'll tell you yeah. what, hardly anyone gets hurt for a start. It's when you start going hard and you're pushing yourself that you, yeah, you know, exactly. these things happen. It's usually self-inflicted. Exactly, most of the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, yeah, for a start, you know, you're not going to get, you're not going to get hurt. You're going to be, uh, you're, going to, you're going to get hurt your body because you're going to be working muscles that you never used before. Yeah. The, that's the thing you're going, to, you're going to find out more about, but... Thanks, uh, right. thanks a lot uh, for talking with us today. Um, so, yeah, if you're thinking of uh, doing ju Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, come down and see us. And, um, you know, the guys are doing an awesome job up here. So, uh, yeah, come and see us about that. And uh, see you later.